everyone welcome back to this channel today I'm doing something very 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 different I'm taking you guys shopping with me but I'm not taking you to a normal shop today I'm taking you thrift shopping with me I've never done one of these videos and I've never really thrift shop before like I have before but I've never really done it on my own and I've never really been like I'm going in I'm going to buy some stuff and we're going to get some goodies but I just decided that I really wanted to start thrift shopping and why not start now so we're starting today I'm currently at Benny's and we're going to go shopping in there I'm only really looking for clothes today I'm not really looking for shoes or bags or any like home decor or anything like that I'm just looking for clothes I'm going to go into Vinny's and we're going to hopefully find some nice bargains Okay, enough singing. Let's go. So finish with Vinnie's and let's just say I think Vinnie's is a little bit overpriced. I did get two items which I will show you guys once we get home but I am going to go to the Salvation Army because I know they're reasonably priced um, more than what Vinnie's is but I literally just paid for a pair of comfy pants for $8. I thought that was ridiculous for for a place that sends, um, sells secondhand clothes. I thought that was a little bit pricey. But the salvos and it's absolutely packed. The whole car park is full, so I had to park on the grass. You know it's a good op shop when the whole car park is completely full. Oh. I like that one. got a few items to try on Frederick couldn't fit in the change room so it's just me in here but he's right there he's locked and he's not going anywhere the first item is on it's these pants I'm not getting them they're a big fat no one because my butt is so big they don't go like over like my butt crack like finishes right here so this is a big no-no doesn't go as high as I like my pants to go and they're just not that comfy like they're a good fit kind of but also kind of not so this is a big no my next one I really like this it's a big huge jumper I can't tell with my black pants but I love this it's so big and comfy and it just reminds me of my old dad sweaters that I used to wear. So I'm back in the car and I thought I would let you guys know how I went with the Salvos. The Salvos was a hit. I really liked what they had and they had amazing prices. Like I didn't see anything over like $6. I was so happy. But I don't know if I should hit another store. I don't know if I should hit Good Sammy's or if I should just go home. Frederick's having a little bit of an antsy time at the moment. So it might be best for us to hit home. And maybe tomorrow I can come back and go to Good Sammy's. But I'm not too sure. I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should just go home and show you guys what I got. Even though it's not that much. 
or if I should do some more shopping but I have a feeling I should just go home. I think I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from the thrift shop. thrift shopping and we're home in my son's room because this is the only really nice room in the entire house right now so I'm just filming in his room at the moment but I'm gonna show you the few things that I bought while shopping today at the op shop or thrift shop whatever you want to call it so the first thing that I got is just this top here it is just a men's t-shirt it is in a size extra large so it's quite big and I really wanted to find a very big men's shirt and when I came across this I actually didn't think about myself first of all first thing that came to my mind was to get this top for Frederick and you know probably really confused about me getting a really 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 big men's shirt for Frederick but my sister has recently made rompers like kids rompers out of men's t-shirts and I'm kind of going to do the same thing. So me and my sister are having a sewing day on the weekend. And I really wanted to get a t-shirt so I can actually make a romper for Frederick. And I thought that this t-shirt was going to be a perfect, like, fabric for that romper. The next thing I got, I actually got this from Vinny. Just this knitted um, sweater cardigan. It is actually a cropped cardigan I do have to say this i know i said it before that vinnie's was so overpriced i don't think i'm gonna go back there but i probably if i do go back i probably won't go back to the one that i went to because it was definitely overpriced for the pieces that i got probably would guess that this was about four dollars maybe five dollars max no i bought this for seven dollars i couldn't believe it when it said seven dollars on it but I couldn't pass it because it's just a very good basic, you know, sweater. It's just a knitted crop sweater and this is also from Cotton On. So I know it's good. Um, and yeah, I actually am looking forward to wearing this. The next thing I got from Vinnie's was something that I wasn't looking out for. But when I found them, I was only looking out for these in both of the stores that I went to. Because I was like, I need some of more of these. Like, I used to live in these. I still kind of do. And I had to throw all my old pairs out because they were getting ruined. Because I was wearing them too much. But I had to find a new pair of comfy pants. You wouldn't believe how much I paid for these. I so paid for these bad boys. Which are just casual lounge pants. No joke. They are the, the most boringest casual lounge pants ever. Like, look. They're just normal casual lounge pants. And I paid $8 for them. The thing I got which you guys saw me try on was this huge like men's sweater. I wasn't actually going to get any like um, sweaters from the men's section. It wasn't something I was gravitating towards. But I was just like, there was no women's jumpers that I would like really like. So I was like, let's go to the men's section because you should always go to the men's section. Like sometimes they have some really good stuff. Well, let's be honest, Amy, you've only been there once. So you can't say that. But I know everyone else thinks the same thing. Men's section is like the good section. I already know that from my first time going. It's huge sweater. It looks kind of green on camera, but it is not. It is gray. It's in a large and I just found that someone stitched a little piece of blue stitching because there was obviously a hole in it, but that's okay. I can redo that later with not blue stitching. I got this bad boy. I only picked it up for $5.25 which is a bargain compared to those 
lounge pants. And the last piece that I got, which I told you guys, was a very small haul. I didn't get that much this time just because this is obviously my first time going out. But I have been watching thrift hauls a little bit in the last couple of days just to get an idea of what I can get for what I want. And I found this girl that gets polo shirts and she crops them. So I had to go get a polo shirt so I could crop it. So I found this polo shirt here. Probably still is weird getting a polo shirt, but hopefully it turns out good once I crop it. But I did get this oversized polo shirt and I am actually just going to chop it in half. So it's just gonna be really short and I'm actually really excited to see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out just as good as hers because hers looks amazing on her. But yeah, fingers crossed. But also this was only $4.25. That is everything from my shopping trip today. I know that wasn't that many items in my haul. But that's everything that I got as a first time thrift shopper. I thought I did pretty well. Even though I did get two items that were totally overpriced. But anyway, we're going to get going. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.